Uh, welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video, we're going to take a look to the card rules of size, which is a very good rule to uh, identify uh, some uh, uh, zeros or roots of a uh, polynomial equation. Okay, so look at here what the, this rule says. Uh, the number of positive real roots of a polynomial equation is either equal to the number of sign changes between consecutive coefficients of p of x or is less than by an even number. I will see an example what they mean by that. And uh, the second bullet, it tells us about the negative real roots, similar. We have a polynomial equation. We try to find out the number of negative uh, real roots. Uh, we have a either equal to the number of sign changes, so the same story between consecutive coefficient of, now be careful here, p of negative x, or is less than by an even number. Okay, so let's see an example there, yeah, number 59. So we, for finding the positive roots, we're going to look to the sign change here. So we have 1x cubed, which is a positive, plus 5x plus 6. So <laughs> in fact, if we take a look, there is no change of sign, right? Positive 1, positive 5, and positive 6. So, no change. That means simply we have zero positive row. Positive roots. Now let's go and do P of negative X. If you remember, that's for the uh, negative roots. Right? In this case, we have negative x raised to the second power plus 5 times negative x plus 6. Yeah. If we simplify this, what do we get? We get x squared minus 5x plus 6. Yeah. In this case, if we look, we do have a change, right? This is positive 1, it goes to a negative 5, so one change, and then we have another change. So we have two changes here. So what does it tell this us to us? Tells us that we have two negative roots or don't forget the second part if you remember less than by an even number. Right here, less than by an even even number. Or zero, right? Even number uh, two two minus two zero, zero negative roots. So that's what this, the car rule of sign tells us about number 59. Okay, so now let's take a look. In fact, to the solution to the roots of this guy. We did a graphical approach, but you can do factoring. And you see here, we have two negative uh, roots. So yes, it does match with what we meant before. So pause this video clip and take a look to number 60. So if you have this uh, work and this sensor on number 70, right, uh, then you did a wonderful job. So the, the math tells us that we can have two positive roots or, don't forget about the second one, zero positive roots, right, uh, an even number less than the, the, that. And here we identify there are zero negative roots because there are no changes. Now, again, you can see here the graph and we have two positive roots, we can find them if you want, x equals 3, x equals 4, graphically or algebraically by factoring. 
now let's take a look to uh, cubic mo. So let's see here how many changes we have. No change, one change, the second change. That's it. Two changes. That means two positive roots. Or don't forget zero, right? We have to roll that two less to even number two. Zero positive roots. Okay, let's do P of negative X. And then I'm going to move a little bit uh, faster. Negative A to the X to the third power. That will, that will, the sign will change. Here it will stay the same, right? It's an even power, doesn't change. Since here is going to be a plus. And so let's see how many changes we have. Negative to positive, one change, no change, no change. It's one change. So that should tell us one negative root. And that's it. We, one minus two will be negative one. That's impossible. We cannot have negative one root. Okay. Um, so let's check now and see what we have here. Oh, we have one negative root, right? We see it. two positive roots. So, yeah, the car rule of sign works. Uh, positive double clip and try number 62. So if you have this sensor for number 62, you did a wonderful job. There are three changes here, which gives us these choices to write three positive roots or one positive root. Here on uh, P of negative X, we have one change, one negative root. So let's double check. And we have here one negative, right? And one positive. So uh, we see one more time how that match the card row. If if you enjoyed this uh, clip, don't forget to click the like button, down right, and come back and see square for more Mac video clips. Thank you.